Yo, what's good, y'all? Doobie here. Today I'm gonna be drawing a comic, and this comic I'm pretty sure a lot of artists can relate to. Now, lately on my Instagram, I've been trying different things to connect with my audience, and one of them is web comics. And this web comic is about the insecurities of posting your work on social media. Now, you know that feeling when you really inspired and you into your artwork and you really put in effort to make it look real real good and you put in so much effort that you just kind of want to share with the world but then here's where it gets kind of messed up is when you start trying to put your self-worth into that artwork to the point where if it doesn't get a certain amount of likes then you know you start to feel bad about yourself you start to feel like you suck and it's something that you was initially proud of but you start to feel sucky about it simply because you're not getting the amount of likes that maybe somebody that you look up to may be getting and at the end of the day it's kind of ridiculous if if you really think about it like to be honest with you i've been a victim of this myself where there's been at times um, where like I would draw something and I would really love it and I'd really put a lot of effort into it then I'd post it and then it wouldn't get a certain amount of likes compared to like some of my past posts and then I would delete it and be like well maybe I posted it at the wrong time which is such a terrible like if that's that's a sucky way to think honestly like you don't want to go through your art journey thinking like that because then it sucks all the fun out of it then the only reason why you end up doing artwork is to seek validation from people and honestly like we're we're more than just our artwork you know what i'm saying and we're more than just like a couple of likes now don't get me wrong i think it's real important and real cool that we get to share our artwork and our work with um people on social media but you know if people not feeling it they just not feeling it <laughs> it really is that simple now let me uh, explain some of this artwork that I'm doing so first of all the brush that I mainly use in procreate is the monoline brush personally that's like my favorite brush right now simply because it kind of gives that um that cartoony feel that I really like and it keeps the whole artwork consistent I've tried different brushes I've tried like the pencil uh, b6 I think it's called brush for a while and that one felt pretty natural simply because you know i started off drawing with pencil anyways so that was cool but right now this is my favorite brush it's so nice to me um i found that the best way to use it is to uh kind of put the width pretty low so that way even when you get into details the details won't be too too thick and it'll stay consistent also what my color choices as far as um the backgrounds go i try to keep it like real light you know uh real desaturated so it doesn't interfere with the actual illustration so there could be more focus on the illustration and also i tried to use a lot of like contrasting colors like um contrasting colors mixed with uh colors that just go good together like the purple inside of the ipad and the, and the phone with the yellow and then you got the orange with the brown and stuff like that um so anyways that's just as far as what i was thinking when i was coloring this now the biggest thing that i've learned so far when posting your art on social media is that your art has to connect with people and you have to be bringing some type of value to somebody whether you're inspiring or whether you're making them laugh or whether it's some type of teaching anyways though um thanks for watching this video really really do appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this please let me know in the comments uh, like if you want to like this and subscribe if you want to subscribe and i'm out peace